Across the galaxy and turn left. Then at five o'clock it's the adventures of Tintin, and at five thirty join in the fun with just on Frontier. Stay tuned. Locks come and picked the worst time to want to come to the Blue Planet and made the frog's electricity go haywire. Hey, 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 X, you've got to help me. I need somewhere to hide. And Dover's had some crazy idea about becoming a dancer or something called ballet. And the robot had become completely unmanageable. I thought it could have been the chief trying to clone back, so I asked Father to destroy it. The dancing teacher thought Dovis' dancing style was foreign. I'll say it was foreign. But even worse, she wanted to be honest with David Carruthers about her background. One good thing, nobody saw Locke's land. Look! It's Locke's! Father couldn't be there to welcome us, of course, because he was busy getting rid of the robot. Be the river for both of us. Come on, come on. of all. The froggots are just waiting for us to make one false move. Then they'll pounce. Hello, we hope you're feeling well. We'll show you what we've got to sell. They're bargain price, the back a dozen. So come on, won't you buy our lemons? Lem. Ons. Lemons. Yeah, lemons. Mind if I try one? Mmm. Tangy. Who are you? What's with the silver suit? My name is Lox, and this is my space suit. Space suit? I told you never to answer the door. I didn't. Charlotte Jackson, who is this weirdo? Lox is a friend of the family. I'm from Peru. Now, is there something you wanted? We're selling lemon. Well, I could always use some citrus. Um. Oh, yes. What's, what's the going price? A dollar a dozen. Uh, um, second thoughts, I, I seem to be a little short of money at the moment. <laughs> I particularly like these little hard bits. <laughs> it sounds like that lunatic I spotted yesterday in the silver suit. He called it a space suit. A space suit? md lemon, pips and all. Are you sure about this, Michelle? Frog, it's on it, Dad. And they're broke. They don't even have enough money to buy a buck's worth of lemons. Weird and poor. Neighbours like that we don't need. I agree. Stay vigilant, girls. I don't know what those Jacksons are up to, but sooner or later they're going to make a mistake. And the Ratepayers Association will act. Colin, this is Lox. He's a friend of the family. From Zergon. Greetings. Hey. I like your suit. <laughs> Did you hear that, X? You ready for training? I can't go, Jenny. Lox makes enough trouble when I'm here. Colin isn't doing anything. Huh? That'd be great, Colin. What? And Lox, for goodness sake, find some earth clothes before anyone else sees you. Nothing conspicuous. Nothing weird. Watch him. He can make a bigger mess in the room. Father, where did you get rid of the robot in the end? Where we agreed, X. Which was where? 
The river, wasn't it? Well, at least that's one less thing to worry about. Well, perhaps I've misjudged him. I asked him to get rid of the robot, and he has. I really must try not to be so suspicious in future. Shh. 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 Here's you. We'll both be in deep water. Doesn't glitter. That. Where are the tassels? Mr. Jackson. Uh, my name's George. Boy, am I glad we finally found you, George. Ever heard of the almost dead letter office? No? Well, it's a big place in the central branch where badly addressed letters go. Now have a look at the address on this one. Jackson family? Blue Planet? They don't get much worse than that. So here it is. Just as soon as you've paid the poster, Joeing, that'll be 25 cents, George. 25 cents. Are you positive it's from Zergon? Actually, George. Oh, okay then. Thank you much, Lee. Now I'll be off. The mail must go through. <laughs> Dear householder, our Greenhouse Galactic Marketing, our exciting catalogue. Oh no! I've just blown my entire life saving in a piece of junk mail. Typical, you hide halfway across the galaxy, you fool the governments, the chief, everyone. But you still can't escape junk mail. Oh, at least there's a freebie. We are proud to enclose a sample of our newest line. The evergreen money tree. Well, we bleeped. A money tree. A money tree? Lemon eaters in silver suits. Why don't they go back where they came from and leave us respectable citizens in peace? Ah, I do wish you'd settle down. You're getting yourself worked up into one of your states again. Complacency is a luxury we can't afford, Dawn. Not when we're living next to bohemians like them. I think you're getting neurotic. So I suppose you'd say the same thing about the Strategic Air Command. The what? On every B-52 bomber was written, the price of liberty is constant vigilance. That's why the world is safe today. Timer system. Check. Trickle feed irrigation. Check. All systems go. Have a greenhouse. Now let's see. Fertilize with a sample of the desired currency. Okay. Plant. Do your stuff. Now that's more like it. Who's that? What's he do? Uh, he's a cowboy. Have you ever seen a cowboy movie? Cowboy? Can I dress like that? Of course not. But they're from this planet, aren't they? Yes, this planet. But not this time. There hasn't been a cowboy around for a hundred years. Oh, aren't they on this film thing? Yes, but it's made up. It's not reality. So, this is reality? Uh, yes. 
Not as good, is it? I found the way that I want. Well, it's wonderful, Lox. I want to look just like him. Mm. Nothing conspicuous, nothing weird. <laughs> it's David. Father, tell him I'm not at home. Come to see Estrella. Oh. Is she here? Um. She doesn't want to see you, David. Not under any circumstances. Oh, I knew I was making a mistake when I tried to kiss her. She's been avoiding me ever since. What can I do? Well, David, uh, Estrella just um, needs a little time. Right? I mean, she's, she's upset now, but we both know she really likes you, right? So, um, why don't you come back tomorrow? Huh? Once she's had a chance to calm down, and, and, and if you find the right moment, I'm sure you'll be able to talk around. But how would I pick the right moment? Uh, oh, well, you, um, um, uh, you, you, you just keep out of her way, and, and then when you see that she's uh, relaxed, then you um, surprise her. Yes. doesn't grow on trees, does it? What's happening now? What's going on? Oh, he's suspicious. They've had one delivery after another. I thought you said they were destitute. No, I said they were broke. Let me see. Come on. They've certainly got cash to splash now. They're from Mars. Nothing else makes sense. It's a good thought, Michelle, but no, it's got to be crime. Crime? It's just a ploy to keep us off the track. They act like spacemen, but they're really common criminals. We've got to do something. Yes, who knows what could be in those packages. What packages? Give me a go! What's the deal, Dad? Remember what the Strategic Air Command said? Um, what? Intelligence is a linchpin of any battle plan. Once we have that in hand, we'll find out what's afoot. Wish me luck, Michelle. I'm going in. Well, this is an unexpected visit. Well, you know how it is. I thought it was high time I dropped around to welcome you to Bellwood. Uh, here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Froggett's Fudge Fancies. Gesture of neighborly hospitality. Used by August 89. Uh, I'll ignore that. It's just a technicality. Oh. So, how do you enjoy living here? Oh, it's... it's... Marvelous. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a great planet. Um, I mean, uh, it's a uh, suburb. That uh, chap in the silver suit, is he a relative? Oh, you must mean Locks. No, no, he's, he's just a friend of the family, just visiting from Peru. 
Uh, Aunt Heckler, wasn't it, that Michelle met with the uh, shaggy fur coat? Uh, she's gone back to Peru? Yes, that's right. They seem to have some pretty weird fashions over there. Uh, <laughs> well, it's probably the Incan influence. Have uh, uh, you got any other visitors here at the moment? Uh, no. Estrella, please. I hope this isn't a bad time for you. We have to sort this out. David, what are you doing here? Get away from me. Oh, but Estrella, we must talk about this. No! Don't you dare kick me! Father! Someone's trapped. They've got someone in the wardrobe and... That's it. Of course. I don't know what they're up to. Clive. That's neurotic. I knew they were crook. Look, financial courier goes missing in Bellwood. Abduction feared. So? Well, isn't it obvious? One, a man carrying a lot of cash goes missing just as the Jacksons become wealthy. Two, bizarre men with guns appear at the house. Three, someone's locked in the wardrobe. Well, you don't have to be a genius to add it up. They've stolen the courier's money and now they're holding him hostage. This calls for immediate action. Clive, I'm sure there's some logical explanation. What logical what? explanation? About a man in a silver suit who turned into a cowboy and ate lemons whole? <laughs> Clive, you can't go <coughs> storming over there with two five irons and make a citizen's arrest. But what if you're wrong? What if I'm right? Well, then you get shot. Oh, typical. Just like you to go running off with some harebrained idea and leave me a widow. Oh, you think of nobody except yourself. Save your breath, Dawn. When community standards are at stake, it is my duty to... Where's Michelle? She said something about the strategic air command. She's going in. I'm calling the police. No, I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> Let me. <coughs> That's right. Yeah, and a cathode ray oscilloscope. Now you've got to make it two. And a high voltage toroidal transformer. Yep. So when will they be here? I'm trying to. I admit, I was out of line with that kissing business. But I've apologised and it'll never happen again. From now on, we can keep our relationship on a completely poetic basis. Haven't you got the message? I don't want to see you. It's all over. Full stop, end of poem. Keep him away, please. Whenever I look at him, I just see two big lips coming to get me. This is a heck of a delivery, George. What are you buying? Concrete? Oh, hold on a second. There's still four of these sort of come. Okay. Everything I need for my own subatomic acceleration laboratory. Plus 100 litres of triple ripple ice cream. Just to keep you going. Right, George. 
the questions if you don't mind. Well, right, nobody move. This is a raid. Now, it's come to our attention that you've stolen a large amount of money and are holding a financial courier hostage. A wardrobe. Check the wardrobe. The wardrobe? Which wardrobe? George, what's happening? George, we've definitely got a problem. There, there, that one there with the thumping noise. Right. If this wardrobe contains what I think it does, you're all going away for a very long time. Oh, how nice. Whereabouts? Ah! Oh, that's no courier. Hey, who are you? I'm her boyfriend. He is not. He's lying. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What's your name and what do you do? I'm David Carruthers and I'm a poet. You got any proof? I published a slim volume of sonnets. Of who you are. He is David Carruthers. Are you sure? I'd recognize those lips anywhere. Uh, I'm sorry for any inconvenience I may have caused, sir. Apparently our information was inaccurate. Mr. Froggart, I think you've caused the police enough trouble for one day, don't you? Why don't you do us all a big favor and leave now before I get really angry? up and start walking. But, Dad, I've got proof that they're aliens. Michelle, I blame you for this whole embarrassing episode. How you can afford it? Oh, I can't. I'll have to send everything back because I haven't got the money. But ice cream doesn't work like that. I just have to get a paper round. And how long do you think it'll take you to pay off your debts? Exactly. Four months, two weeks, and three and a half days. And that's not including Christmas bonus. And you don't mind? Well, it's going to be hard work, but it sure beats being rich any day. <laughs>
Stay tuned, there's more adventure coming up in just a moment with Tintin, followed at 5.30 by that crazy game show, Je Sans Frontier. Frontières.